Green in Garden, Fresh on Table. Welcome to Asian Garden to Table. In this video, I will show you step by step how to start a vegetable garden. It took me a month to record this video. I hope it is useful and actually help you to start your garden. First, remove the grass together with the top soil from your garden. This is hard work, but is very necessary. Removing topsoil will get rid of most of the grass roots, wheat seeds, bugs and their eggs, disease, and of course harmful chemicals apply to your lawn. Let's come back to the very first question, where to put your garden? Vegetables need three things to grow well, sunshine, water, and nutrients. Here is what you should consider of a place to grow vegetables. One has at least six hours direct sunlight. Two, well drained. Three, stay away from big trees and bush. They will block the sun and steal the nutrients and water from your garden. Use raker to remove the branches and roots left in the soil. Another big problem for your garden can be the soil. There are basically three types of soil. Clay soil, sandy soil, and silt soil. No matter what type of soil you have in your backyard, the best way to improve it is to add a lot of organic matters. The material I'm loading now is horse manure. It is mostly half composted wood chips and some horse dung. Install the bed for your garden. I use one square foot blocks and half bury them in the ground. Keep your garden a little bit higher than the ground will prevent water flow in from outside of the raised bed. This water may carry harmful chemicals applied to your lawn. After finish the raised bed, spread out the piles of horse manure. Where to get the materials for soil improvement? Search on your local Craigslist for compost or manure to see what is available for you. Garden and kitchen waste are also a good option. Here comes the fun part. Run the cultivator around in raised bed several times. Make sure you cover every corner. It will take a while to run cultivator. Let's talk about how organic things improve the soil quality. First, it makes the soil loose, improve aeration and water holding ability of the soil. Second, it provides a good environment and necessary foods for the microorganism and worms which are great benefit to your garden. Third, it provides sustainable nutrients to your vegetables. Use raker to even your raised bed again. Now you should have a fine, loose and rich soil in your garden, but this will not last forever. Every time you grow new seedlings, you should always add some organic fertilizer or compost in the soil. You will find out your soil get better and better. And no matter what you grow in your garden, they just grow so well and effortless. Divide your raised bed into small sections. A section shouldn't be wider than 5 feet for easy access and convenient management. The length can be flexible according to your condition. Each section I'm dividing now is about 4 feet by 8 feet. The walkways between the sections are about 1 foot wide and lower than the rest of the bed. In case of too much water, it can help with drainage. Spray some inorganic fertilizer over the soil. Inorganic fertilizers work fast and encourage the seedlings to develop new roots in the soil quickly. Appropriate combination of organic and inorganic fertilizers will make your garden produce more and better. Use your raker to even the soil on the raised bed. 
This will also mix the inorganic fertilizer with the topsoil. The inorganic fertilizer is used to encourage the seedlings to grow new roots, so you don't want to bury it deep. Put your seedlings in your garden. You can get seedlings from Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, or local nursery stores, but the varieties are very limited, especially for Asian vegetables. I start my own seedlings. Here I have Asian peppers, Chinese cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, bok choy, nai choy, radish, kale, sauerkraut, kohlrabi, and so on. For backyard vegetable grower, usually the garden area is not very big. Mixed cropping is a great method to maximize usage of your space and keep your garden produce sustainable. Fully water your garden after finished transplanting. Even your garden soil is very wet. You should not skip this step. The water will settle the soil around the seedling plugs, dissolve the fertilizer in the soil, and provide a good environment for the root to grow. The first week, water your garden every day. The vegetable grows straight up, turn greener, and start to grow new leaves. The second week, the vegetables already have their root spread out in the soil. They greedily absorb the rich nutrient and grow bigger and faster. Most of the vegetables have doubled their size at the second week. The third week, the green in the garden explodes. We just finished installing the wood boards for each section and blocks for the walkway. Bok choy has grown into full size and is ready to pick. Mustard in the middle reaches out with their big leaves, while peppers and your choy are on the side. Here are kale, broccoli, radish, and sauerkraut. They fill up the whole bed. Chinese cabbage grows very big, and is developing white heart. Now let's start to enjoy the delicious and fresh vegetables. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.